It's getting cold in the hobby cave here. I gotta apologize. We are way overdue on our driller video. So we're gonna finish that up right now. And then tonight, I'll start on the scout. Try to get that out a little faster. everyone welcome back everybody in hindsight a garage near an hvac system is probably not the best recording studio but this is where the hobby cave is so i apologize if there's some uh, background noise we're going to stick to the cover art like we did with the gunner i tried to recreate the cover art in game here's a quick front and back shot I think I got the colors close, but I just couldn't get to look the same, so stuck to the cover art. I did base coat a fair amount of the model in the plate mail silver again, just to uh, have that effect once we put the speed paint over the top to kind of make it look like a colored metallic. First up is Crusader skin. He doesn't have much, just his face, chubby chin. Uh, look out for the pearly whites though, he does like those teeth. I hit the lenses on the glasses with some plasma bolt. So the next part gets a little tricky. I was trying to go for a not bright yellow, maybe more of a rusty, dirty yellow with some bronze copper mixed in. So we did about a ratio of seven drops of zealot yellow, three drops of sand golem, and three drops of the speed medium. So. You can do a lot of experimenting with these speed paints and come up with some pretty unique colors because we are fairly limited with the sets we have. Though they are coming out with some new ones soon it sounds like.
Next, I apply some strong tone, followed by some uh, dark tone. The goal here was to get the brown into the drill bits, dirty them up a bit. And with the dark tone, I was trying to go for those recesses in the exhaust pipes and some of the machinery around the drill itself. So I went with Grim Black around the boots and decided I wanted to come back and mix in dark wood just to create more of a really dark coffee, uh, super dark brown kind of a, a look for the boot soles. And I ultimately ended up doing the base of the stand with it. I uh, got down in the exhaust ports on the drill and a few other spots. Getting down to the home stretch again, I wanted to go back and touch up the bright silver areas, uh, rivets, any part of the armor that I might have accidentally got some of the paint on, uh, speed paint that is. So as always, look out for reactivation when you're painting over something. The silver though in this case pretty much covers anything so it's not like you're mixing white in with it or something.
I try to use the edge of the brush on some of those exhaust pipes on the drill arms and surfaces like that where you don't want to get too much on there. Just bring that shine back up. I noticed after the fact I completely forgot to paint that lens on his headlamp white and then do some probably zealot yellow I guess for a headlamp look so I gotta go fix that after the fact and once this video is done He looks like he has some black leather gloves on where he's grabbing the drill. So I hit that with some grim black. And then I decided to just do some Gravelord Gray with the leftover grim black I already had out. And paint that rock up under his boot with that. I probably could come back and do some dry brushing or something along the edges. Some highlights. But I'm still not determined what I want to do with this guy yet. I really want to put some dirt all into his drill bits and onto the, the base, but that'll be a project for a later date. Assignment complete. Congratulations. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I still want to do some practice with my basing skills. That's one area I haven't touched. This guy just begs to have dirt, you know, little rocks or things inside the drill bits. And maybe around the base there, but I'll come back to him later. I got a bunch more to paint first. Next one up is going to be the Scout. Hope to get that out within the week. Fingers crossed. See you soon.